It's SK and my first day here in Romania, Brasov, and uh, it's about minus 8 degrees. It's meant to be the first few days of spring and we have snow all around us. We've come here to film wolves and Romania's national animal, the lynx. We were located in Brasov, which is about three hours from Bucharest, which is the capital of Romania. And we had traveled out, it was about an hour to travel out to the forests, which were in the Carpathian Mountains. To find the animals we're looking for here in the wild, we have to do a lot of walking in freezing weather. And then hours of waiting and looking. So it's a lot of patience and it's a different place. It's so different from Africa, where I'm used to herds of animals in front of me. What was so strange for me is that we could hear traffic noises quite close by. The wildlife's very scarce, they're very timid, so we didn't see much. The lynx is a different animal, it's very elusive. But we were hoping to see them because it was the start of their mating season and they'd be moving around a lot more. Our aim with the camera traps was to film all the species that we are looking for. Right here what I'm doing, I'm helping Boris. There is a camera trap we've got here. We're trying to get wolves. There's been a report that we've got from people working around here. They said they saw some wolves around here yesterday morning. We hope to catch them with this small camera. So we spent quite a lot of time camouflaging these cameras and climbing trees and yeah, it was a lot of fun. This camera's been sitting here for two days and uh, we hope we've got something. Um, I hope it's bears or a wolf or maybe a lucky, lucky one at a lynx and we hope it's not dogs but uh, we'll have a look. What we found? Nothing. It's uh, 20 past four. We're going out with Marius, he's the lynx expert. He's seen tracks around this little cliff and he thinks we'll definitely be able to see a lynx today. We haven't seen much, but we're staying positive and uh, we can only try. I hope this fog has disappeared because you cannot see too far away. This little, uh, little uh, hill, little mountain behind us is our viewpoint. This is where we can uh, uh, sit and wait for the lynx. Um, there's been a lot of activity around this little cliff and um, yeah, we're just going to sit quietly and wait. We knew that it was going to be very difficult to see the lynx because Marius only sees them about once a month. We worked with the National Forestry Administration of Romania and we worked with a guide and our plan was to radio track the links to try and find them. 
so the signal is full that mean the links is our in our front not more to 100 meters so we're here in the forest so let's go what we did was radio track the animals so he had two links that had been radio collared and he knew the territory that they lived in so we worked around these territories we saw a lot of tracks in the area so I was very excited about the whole prospect what we found though is very sad this collared lynx has broken its leg and needed some serious veterinary attention. It wasn't the way we wanted to get our first glimpse of this beautiful cat. What we did when filming wolves is that we went to viewpoints, areas quite high up where we could see quite a lot of land in front of us and these areas were areas where the wolves would pass through. So it was almost by chance that we might see the wolves. And uh, there were two packs of wolves in the area. Historically wolves have kept the deer population in Romania in check. Because there's sheep farming in the area, the wolves sometimes come into conflict with the human population. The shepherd that we met told us that often his sheep get taken by wolves and bears. It's clear that wild spaces are being taken over not only by the cities, but by farmland. To get a better perspective of the actual wild territory available to wolves and lynxes, we need to get into the air. I feel like a Michelin man. I'm used to filming in helicopters, which I know now is the only way. We'd been convinced by the fixer that this ultralight was the way to go. This is probably the most unstable filming platform I've ever been on. Man's imprint on the environment is harshly visible from the air. While the wilderness space seems so vast when you're on the ground, it actually isn't. And it's no wonder that we're having such a difficult time finding these animals. There really isn't that much space for them, and there are not many of them left anymore. After the flight, I felt really, really ill. It was damn cold up there. My, my face feels frozen off. Hi, can I rise to the corner? Get away. While we're in Romania, the temperature changed a lot from minus 15 degrees Celsius to about plus 20 degrees. The seasons changed quite quickly, and we saw the first snowdrops appear out of the snow. The main challenge is filming in Romania. The first one that comes to mind is the cold, because I'm not used to that environment. It's totally different. Also that the animals are so scarce and timid. 
For me, it was really difficult living in the city. It was very different. I'm used to being right in the middle of wildlife and trying to make this adjustment every day was very difficult for me. I think my favorite thing about the trip was the experience and learning how different the conditions are in Romania to film in. I think that was the biggest thing for me. As we near the end of our trip, we are disappointed. We've only had glimpses of wolves and lynxes and got none of the big epic shots that we're after. We're going home with the realization that in these parts, like so many other places, wildlife really has been driven to the edge of survival. It's very sad. <laughs>